Luther 27 um, through 31. This was the test that everybody did well on. Most everyone. So this should be pretty easy. On 27, you are going to put this data into your calculator and then find um, the following. So put that in the calculator. You're going to go to stat. So your stat. And you're going to go edit. So we're going to hit enter. And we're going to enter the numbers in our data. So three, enter. Five, enter. Four, enter. Seven, enter. 1.5, okay. enter. 5.5, enter. 1.5 again. And then two, and then five. Before you leave this screen, you need to check to make sure all of these numbers are correct. Because if these numbers, if you didn't plug these in correct, if you did not plug them in correctly, you're going to miss A through J. And I, I told my students this before, um, some of them didn't check because they missed those. These are too easy of problems for you to miss simply because you typed them in wrong. So I'm going to go back and check and make sure. So I have a 3, a 5, a 4, 7, 1.5. 5.5, 1.5, 2, and 5. Uh, maybe a good thing to do is as you're typing them in, cross them out so you won't lose your place. So that might be a good suggestion. All right, so now we're going to go to stat, over to calculate, and we're going to hit enter three times, or four times. All right, so we're going to find, I'm just, if this is actually in the order that it's in your calculator except for the variance. Um, the variance number isn't part of this information that's here. So the X with the bar over it is your mean. Okay, so let's move this so you can still see it. All right, so this is your X with the bar over it. And it says to round to the nearest hundredth. So that's going to be 3.83. All right, the standard deviation is the one with the S in front of the X. I'm going to put that up here, S, in front of X, and that's 1.95. We're going to come back to the variance in just a second, because I don't, everything else I need is on this screen. Um, obviously, the minimum is the one that says min, so that's 1.5. And then it says lower quartile, that's Q1, which is 1.75. Your median is 4. Upper quartile is Q3, which is 5.25. And then your maximum is 7. Now, those numbers from D to H should increase or stay the same, but they should not go down. They should go up. So make sure that your numbers are increasing. All right. So to calculate the variance, you can do this two ways. You can take the standard deviation that you have, 1.92, and you, or sorry, 9.5, and you can square it. So that would be 3.80. So that's one way of doing it. So I'm going to write that down, 3.80. Now, the other way to do it is to go to stat, or second stat, sorry, second and then stat, go over to math. And you'll notice that number 8 says variance. So click 8. And then we want to tell it to find the variance of our table. And our table was L1. So if you'll look on your calculator, L1 is the blue right above 1. So we have to hit second and then number 1. So second and number 1. And then enter. And this gives me 3.81. So it's a little different. Okay. And your teachers are aware of that. We know that you could get two possible answers here. Okay, um, Those are the only two answers because we rounded this, so we need to use this number. Don't, don't put in more numbers and then square it. Just use this number here and square it. So, Or go find the variance like we did um, right here. All right, then to find the range, range is your maximum minus your minimum. So I'm going to write max 
minus min. And your maximum is uh, 7. And your minimum is 1.5. So we get 5.5. So your range is 5.5. Okay. The IQR, your inner quartile range, is your Q3 minus your Q1. So that's 5.25 minus your Q3 minus your Q1, which is 1.75, so 3.5. So again, remember these problems are way too easy for you to miss, but you've got to remember um, really how to find the variance and then these two right here. The rest of it's all in your calculator.